Volleringer against Christiansen, Norwegian Elite Area match today, 5 pm kickoff time in the UK. A battle between two sides currently inside the bottom three. Um, Volleringer on 11 points, and uh, Christiansen just have one point. They've lost nine in the first 10 league games. A shocking start of the season for Christiansen. As for Volleringer, well, they, they are the big underachievers this season, aren't they? Uh, they should be doing a lot better. I think if you look at some of their XG metrics and things like that, statistics. They, uh, you could say they've been unlucky. You could say they just completely underperformed in a lot of uh, key areas of the, of the pitch. Now, it doesn't make things any better though. You know, you're only in um, 14th place. There's a lot of pressure on the manager, Dag Ali Fagermo. Several quarters saying that he should have been fired already. And if they don't win this game, there's going to be more calls for his head. Um, this is almost a must-win fixture for Volarenga against Christiansen. But for Christiansen as well, they really need to get some points on the board. Preferably all three. Now, in my experience, when two poor sides meet each other, there's usually quite a lot of goals. But the goal line here is like three or three point two five, which is just too high, really, for teams that are just not in a confident enough mood. Christiansen, I actually thought played quite well last week against Lillestrøm. Um, they they lost three one, but they they led one nil for the first seventy minutes of this game, and I thought they were going to close out a shock uh, victory. And then they came unstuck. They find they basically find ways to lose games. So do Volarenga. They find ways to lose matches as well. They've had a two-week break here of um, the team from Oslo. And it might do them some good. It might not. All the messages coming out of the camp have been quite positive. But I don't trust... If they fall behind in this game, the crowd's going to be really, really poisonous. And there's no way in a million years I would back them. As short as 1.43 in some uh, quarters. Minus 1, minus 1.25 handicap. No, thank you. In fact, I was actually very tempted to have a nibble on Christiansen to win at six, uh, six or seven to one, um, because I could really see a shock here. Things are not going Volaringa's way, and like I say, if they fall behind, things could get really poisonous. So I'm actually going to predict a Christiansen win. I'm not going to touch the game, but I wouldn't want to put anyone off having a little nibble on KBK because they might get something here.